Hello and welcome to Science Never Stops. I'm your host, Joseph Vick, with the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. And today's topic is light travels in a straight line. When someone says traveling at the speed of light, how fast is the speed of light? Now, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second, or 186,000 miles per second, or 671 million miles per hour. And as that light is traveling, it's instant. So it's so fast that it takes light from the sun to hit the earth. It only takes about eight minutes for it to travel 93 million miles from the sun to the surface of the earth. So light travel is very fast. So if we could have the ability to travel at the speed of light, we could go places really quick. But flying on a light beam is a lot more difficult than you think. That's the work that Albert Einstein did with flying on a particle, relativity, general relativity, so we can't do that with a flashlight and play-doh with my experiment that's much more complex but we can see how light travels and light travels in a straight path it is one of those once you turn it on it continues in that path continues in that path until it hits something is reflected by something or changes or is refracted or bends with something else that it strikes. Now we can set up this experiment to see exactly light as it's traveling. Now you can see light as it's traveling. You can use a straw and look through the straw to see light as it's coming at you. It's coming through that straight line too. But if at any point you bend that straw, you no longer will see light. That's because you have interfered with the straight line path of incoming light because light travels in a straight line. So for this activity you will need the following a flashlight, a straw, hole punch, play-doh, and index cards. And with this we're going to demonstrate how light from its starting source will travel in a straight line continuously until blocked or reflected off another object. The first thing you need to do is take your hole punch and with your cards, your index cards, three can be a minimum or you could do as many as you like to try to figure out how far light can travel with that line. It's up to you, but three to four is a good starting point. You will take your hole punch and punch a hole in your card. Now I have four cards and what you'll want to do is you'll want to make sure your holes line up with your cards and while you are setting up your cards to know that they are in line. The straw fits right through a hole punch hole. So when you're setting them up, you can space them out using the straw. The way you'll hold the cards up is through a piece of Play-Doh or clay setting on the table. So let's set it up and I'll show you the layout. Now to set up your cards, Use your straw and set it on the table. That will be your dividing area to show how far a distance apart the cards need to be. The hole needs to be closer to the table, so you have sort of a blocking surface at the top so the light can go further through. So take you a piece of Play-Doh, set it at one end of the straw, and then set your other, the other end. Take one card, set it in to your clay, insert your straw, and do the same on the other side, making sure that 
they align with one another. So with that, you know that these holes are aligned. You can remove your straw. To test to see if they are further aligned, turn on your flashlight, shine it through the card hole, and set your hand on the other side. And if you see a light, as you can see the light hitting my hand there, reflecting there off the table, on the white tablecloth, you know that they are aligned. Continue this process as long as you can have the amount of cards in line and see how far light can travel in a straight line. Light travels in a straight line. This experiment demonstrates the principle that light propagates or transmits its energy in a straight line. You see the flashlight shining through the first card light hole, through the second card light hole, through the third card light hole, and then hitting the dark box at the end of the table. This shows that light travels in a straight line. Shine your light, and remember, science never stops.